Hi, I'm Michelle and I live about five minutes over the road and this is a place called Shamblin Park. And uh, do you want to talk about Kildare here a long time? Well, I've been working here about four years. I know Kildare is a big place and GA is a big time. That's as much as I really know, as in that kind of way. And you don't need to talk about your family, but do you want to talk about uh, the family? Oh, well, no. But see, my mother's from Kildare, and that's how I got the job here, because the original owners of this place would have been best friends with my mother growing up. That's how I got the place. And do you want to tell me about the gentlemen here? Do you want to introduce me to them? I can't say anything bad about me. Can I now? I've never done anything wrong to me and I'm here long enough. Yeah. She have to put me out the back door? I, I didn't put you out the back door. I might have wanted to kick you out the back door, but I didn't. Hal Hammett was my name. Yeah. They call me Hammy. I have, no, I have no idea why. Yeah. Born and bred. And you're here a long time? What do you say anything else? Famous Kildare Town. And why would you say that? That's the way the song goes, Famous Kildare Town. No. And what's the name of the pub? Ali's Bear. Oh, is that what Best it is? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's married. Yeah. So he is. I'm engaged myself. Do you want to? Do you want to talk about who you're engaged to? Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> just in case you, just you wouldn't wait like that. Hi, I'm Edwina Vaughan, and. Um, we have a business here, Rockmills Furnishings Limited, whereby we sell mattresses, beds, every type of furniture. And we've been operating for the last 10 years, but I'm, I'm from the area all my life. So we're, I'm from Rockmills, which is a small village two miles on the Fermoy side of Kildare. And uh, it's, it's a lovely area, very friendly. Um, there's a lot of new, there's a new restaurant next door and people are very friendly and uh, that's about it. <laughs> I'm James Fox, I'm Kira Fox's brother and this is my girlfriend Leone. I'm not hoping to have a great old day, and I'm sure we will. <laughs> Are you from here? Uh, I'm from Kildare, yeah, 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 yeah. and she's from uh, London. Yeah, I'm getting married at one o'clock to, to Kira Fox, so uh, yeah, looking forward to it. So I don't know. <laughs> you want to tell me who these gentlemen are? They're my uncles. So they are. Can you give me the names? <laughs> um, Kirk. Liam and Finch. Pardon me, guys. <laughs> From Abilix. From Abilix. Abilix. Wow, yeah. wow. That Do you want to tell me about home. this young lady you're going to marry? <laughs> I don't know what to say. She's beautiful. She's beautiful. Yeah. She's radiant. She's, yeah. I love my life. <laughs> uh, Chris from Bray. Groomsman from Argus getting married to Kira. <laughs> I uh, wish Mark and Kira all the best for our future. Yeah. Originally from the city, my name is Eleanor Lynch. Um, maiden name Pickerstaff, living here with 22 years, um, living on the main street in actual fact. I have two daughters, my husband. Very busy street. But um, I must admit, I don't think I'd rather raise my children anywhere else than here. My name is Conor Maguire. I'm a local resident here in Kildare. I'm involved in the community development there and the restaurant here opened in July 2013 and the building itself is owned by the Community Development Association 
and the restaurant is leased out to a local lady, Joanne Nickeldowney, who worked in some five-star hotels around the world and finally settled here in Kildowney. So the restaurant is going very well and it's a very vibrant community group here in Kildowney and um, it has, it has ex outlived all expectations so far. Hi, um, I'm Joanne McIndowney. I'm the owner of the Tantrum Pine Restaurant. Um, I'm originally from Glamour, but living in Kildare, and we've been open since July. The community development at the back of the, the, of the restaurant there's a lovely garden as you can see there where people sit out during the summer and they also bought the local dairy gold creamery and they hope to turn that into a car park to sell the restaurant for parking facilities and the local church and school so it's a very active community and, and we're delighted to see visitors coming here seven days a week for their